In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the gateways that are native to the Salesforce billing application. In the video before this one in this series, I begged you to stop taking paper checks. I said it a few times. Please stop the madness. Missed it? No worries. We put a link in the description for you so you can check it out. And now that you've realized that paper checks are bad, you might be asking, if we shouldn't use those old paper checks, then what exactly should we be using? And the simple answer is that you should be using digital payments. Now, as a Salesforce billing customer, you have quite a few options to take digital payments. And in this video, we're only gonna be talking about the ones that are native to the Salesforce billing system. Before we jump into the connectors, uh, just a quick note on a very important digital payment method. Your organization should be considering a move to electronic bank draft payments. These systems are ACH here in the US, EFT up in Canada, SEPA in Europe, and then Direct Debit in Australia and in the UK. Systems like these, they exist globally in almost every country. And these systems allow your organization to take very large payments, literally up to millions of dollars for very small fees and do it all digitally. Sometimes these can be low as a dollar per transaction. Again, check out the description to get a bit more information on these things. Okay, now that we know that electronic bank transfers should be part of your quiver, let's talk about card payments. Let's dive into the pros and cons as well as show you how to use the native connectors that come with Salesforce billing. When I say out of the box or native gateway connectors, I'm talking about the four e-commerce gateways that Salesforce billing supports as part of their platform offering. Now you might be saying, hey, you know what? I've been a Salesforce customer for a long time and you don't often see them do integrations. You'd be absolutely right. So why do these even exist? Where did they come from? Well, you may know that Salesforce billing, it was originally a product called Invoiceit. Uh, Invoiceit was based in the UK and the company was bought by another company called Steelbrick. This was back in 2015. So not much longer after that, Steelbrick in turn, they were bought by Salesforce. Then in 2019, after investing significantly in this product, Salesforce released it again, is what we now know as Salesforce billing. And since Invoiceit had implemented four of the most popular gateways globally, Salesforce simply kept those integrations. Those four gateways are Authorize.net and Cybersource. You may know that both of those, they're owned by Visa. And then there is First Data's PayEasy, uh, which is pretty popular here in the US. And then of course, an old standby, which is currently owned and operated by PayPal called PayFlow Pro. Again, those four are Auth.net, Cybersource, PayEasy, and PayFlow Pro. In the description of this video, you'll also find links to all of these gateways. If you're going to use one of these four gateways, then there are just a few quick steps that you need to do, and this is how to use them. First, get your authentication credentials for the gateway. Then, add the remote site settings for the payment gateway and also create the custom settings. Next, add a payment gateway record inside of the Salesforce billing setup, and finally, run a test transaction. That's it, you're off to the races. Once you've done the simple setup for these out of the box gateways, all of the payment user interfaces inside of Salesforce billing are gonna be ready for you to use. So how do I log payments, you might be thinking. Well, if you're using all of the built-in functions inside of Salesforce billing, they've already taken care of it for you. There's nothing else you need to do. It doesn't matter which payment functions that you're using. If you're using Payment Center or Payment Sites, hosted card payments, or maybe just doing payment runs, issuing credits, or applying refunds, it's all integrated and ready for you to use out of the box. It is really quite simple. Whichever payment feature you use, the system will automatically create the payment and the payment allocation records. These records, they manage the business of saying how much was paid and to which invoice it belongs. How to use the out of the box payment gateways with Salesforce billing. If you need to use a gateway that is not one of the four that we mentioned, that's where charging comes in. We have written our gateway connector to enable you to use our 30 plus gateway integrations. And in the next video in this series, we're gonna be talking about how to use the charging gateway connector. That's all for this installment. Thank you so much for watching our video. Be sure to like, comment, uh, and subscribe. Check out our next video right here. 
Don't hesitate to reach out. As you know, we're always here to help.